the Mod Light Hog your next handheld defensive light? Let's find out. We first saw the Mod Light Hog at SHOT Show. Its output was huge, although I was a little bit concerned about the size. So let's see if this is something I would daily carry. So first, what is the Mod Light Hog? Well, it is not their regular handheld. It is different in a few ways. First is that the batteries are much larger. Instead of using an 18650, they're using a 21700. That's a larger battery, a lot more opportunity to hold energy, have a little bit longer runtime. And that means that the bodies are larger. You can see here that it's a little bit longer and then it is a fair amount larger around. My understanding is the LEDs are pretty much the same, but these heads being larger allows a lot more focus of the beam and it potentially allows a little bit more heat dissipation, allowing that light to run cooler. Now the Hog comes in two varieties. It comes in the OKW version, which has a higher candela, and it comes with the PLH V2 version, which has lesser candela, but has a little bit wider and more dispersed flood of a beam. Although flood doesn't really apply, both of these are very focused, very high candela lights. The regular handheld fits pretty well, especially when you throw a switch back in it, fits pretty well in the pocket. The hog on the other hand, especially with that large light bezel, seems to take up a lot more room. Length doesn't seem to be an issue for me, but that head is pretty large. I went ahead and threw these on the scale. This comes in at 5.8 ounces. This comes in about 10.4. So it is almost twice as heavy and it, it feels heavy. So I took a look at all of these with the candela meter. This comes in at 64,910 candela. The OKW version of the hog comes in at a blazing 140,400 candela. That's more than double what the smaller version is. And finally, the PLHV2 version comes in at a super strong 110,000 candela. Unfortunately, our integrating sphere does not allow us to measure bezels this large. So I don't have my own lumen rating. That said, the PLHV2 is supposed to be around double what the lumen rating is of the OKW. I think that the flood on both of these lights is pretty adequate for low light work. The real question is, is whether you need that combination of lumens and candela. If you need both, you would go ahead and buy the PLHV2 version. If you're looking just for the furthest shot out there, uh, but still have some reasonable degree of flood, I think the OKW version is quite good. One of the things I've noticed about running these for a long amount of time is that they don't seem to get nearly as hot as the smaller handheld lights. Additionally, the longer runtime allows me to use this in more of a steady state use than a tactical defensive use that I would use with the smaller battery version. The only thing that I don't like is the head is too large for me to everyday carry. I think it would be awfully cool if I could actually take and mount one of the original heads on this larger 21700 battery body. And that would give me a longer runtime with only a slight difference in body size. I think that'd be kind of cool. So the real question is, is where the heck are you going to use it? You're going to use it as a more of a duty light where you go ahead and you click it in into some sort of belt holster. Are you going to use it as a truck or a marine light where you put it in a spot and it just stays there? Or is it going to be a handheld light? For me, a light this size would either sit in my truck or on my nightstand. What do you think about the Monlight Hog? Please leave your comment down below. You may wonder why we review lights. Well, here at Works, we build precision fit holsters for pistols with lights because you deserve to defend those you love day or night. Please check out our full line of holsters at works.com. Thanks for watching. This is Shan with Works. Have a blessed day.